Oh, I've got to take a breath. Oh, oh I've been holding my breath for ages. I thought my lungs were going to burst. Hey, what do your lungs do? They take in air to help your body breathe. They help you um, talk. Help you breathe. Our lungs allow us to breathe air. I think my lungs breathe ox um, get the oxygen. Our lungs help us breathe, so air goes through our um, up out of our throat. They help you breathe. Lungs help you breathe. Our lungs breathe when we breathe. Hmm, well, okay. One thing I know is that my lungs sit somewhere in here, and when I breathe, they move like this. <coughs> And I'm pretty sure that they'll be in the same place on you. Unless you're an alien. And then you might not have lungs. Or they might be attached to your head or, or to your knees or, or something like that. Take a couple of big deep breaths, will you? Okay. Chest and tummy moving. Good, okay, so your lungs are in and outy things. Yeah, me too. Mine are in at the moment, inside me. And I think we need to get them out so we can have a closer look. One set of lungs coming up, compliments of the chef, and that's me. No, they're not really my lungs. They used to belong to a sheep. <coughs> no, you're not having them back. Now, these lungs look a lot like human lungs. They're about the same size, and they're about the same shape and colour. And they feel like human lungs too. They're quite soft and squishy. Yeah. Oh, and they work like human lungs. Watch this. I'll turn them over so you can get a good look. Right. Watching carefully now. <gasps> Want to see that again? Okay, watching closely. This bit of tubing here is multifunctional. Food goes down this tube, down into the digestive system. It's also the windpipe for the respiratory system. So air goes down the tube, into the lungs, and inflates them. And that makes your tummy and your chest rise. So, your lungs work like balloons. What else do they do? You know, I think it must have something to do with air, because when you breathe in, air goes into your lungs and makes them expand. And when you breathe out, air leaves the lungs and your lungs shrink again. But air must do more than make your lungs expand. Air is made up of thousands of gases. 78% of it is nitrogen gas, 21% oxygen, and the other 1% is made up of gases like carbon dioxide or helium or methane. But it's the oxygen that's really, really important. Everything needs oxygen to survive. Yes. 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 Um, no. But even this little groover needs oxygen to survive. Woohoo! Look at her go! What would happen if the oxygen ran out? Will she still survive? No oxygen. No, survive. When you take a big deep breath, go on, take one. The oxygen goes on an amazing journey around your body. Now walk this way. You walk. Here we go. Here are some lungs that I prepared earlier. Now the oxygen comes racing down the windpipe and it comes into two tubes called bronchi. Two tubes, one for each lung. 
And these tubes are a bit like branches because they branch off and those branches get smaller and smaller and smaller and they're called bronchioles. And at the end of those tiny, tiny little branches are tiny little air sacs called alveoles. And those air sacs are so thin that the oxygen can pass straight through the wall into your bloodstream. And once it gets into your bloodstream, it goes on a great big journey. Now listen up, because this is important. Once it gets into your bloodstream, it races around your body and it is used by your body to help use the energy that it gets from food. Oxygen travels around your body in your blood and when it gets used by your body, it turns into something else. It becomes CO2, carbon dioxide, and your body doesn't want that in it, so it gets rid of it. And that's another job for your lungs with the help of your blood. Your lungs act as a full-time cleaner, getting rid of the CO2 from your body. Your bloodstream carries the CO2 back into your lungs and it's exhaled out of your mouth or nose. So when you breathe out, you're cleaning your body of CO2. Well done! So your lungs are very busy things. They're on the go the whole time. Breathing in. And your lungs inflate. Breathe out. And your lungs contract. And it's a never ending cycle of breathing in and out and in and out. goes on and on every second, every minute, every hour, every day. Because if you're not breathing, well try holding your breath. <sighs> your body doesn't like it. If you ain't breathing, you ain't living. When you're breathing fresh, clean air every day, your lungs look a little bit like this pink and fresh and clean and healthy. Lovely. Hey, have you ever seen a sheep smoking? Yeah, me neither. But if a sheep was to smoke, its lungs might look a little like this. Ugh. Black and revolting, and that's because of all the tar and chemicals from the cigarette clogging up the alveoli and the bronchioli. Ugh, it's revolting. If you want fresh, clean lungs like this, keep on breathing clean air. And if you see any sheep smoking, tell them to give it up. It's bad for them. Hey, you scientist, take a note of your breathing. A big, deep breath should fill out your lungs somewhere deep down inside you. Hey, and here's an investigation. Compare your breathing before and after strenuous exercise. Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. Well, I'm going to continue my investigation, holding my breath. I'll see you next time. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.